The worldwide death toll from the coronavirus pandemic has topped 83,000, with the United States now the most impacted country in the world, with more than 1,900 U.S. fatalities reported in just the last 24 hours. Here in New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo reported 731 people died of COVID-19 since Monday, New York's highest one-day death toll so far. But the true toll is likely far higher, with New York City's fire department reporting about 130 people per day are dying in their homes, most of them of suspected COVID-19. Those deaths remain uncounted in official statistics. This is New York paramedic Anthony Almohera. Yesterday, I worked 16 hours, and I had 13 cardiac arrests. Um, that's a lot of deaths. Most of us are pretty good about handling death. You know, we, it's the nature of the job. We kind of roll with it, but nothing like this for anyone. About 500 New York City fire department workers have tested positive for COVID-19. About 20 percent of New York police officers are currently out sick.